Well, I hardly need to say anything, right? You have the stories. And Ellen, uh, been a champ of 25 of the 30 years. That's a pretty good record. And Dr. Bastani and I are a team now on this, but we're not the only members of the team. And today, uh, you are the ones who are going to make the real difference in reaching out to different members' offices. And I dare say, when you go into an office, or you talk to a staff person, you'll probably be like I was just a few minutes ago when our high school student, there's an art competition. If you walk in the tunnel between here and the Capitol, the Cannon Tunnel, you'll see artwork and it's just now being, um, the new pictures are being put up. And I was congratulating our artist from my district and the picture that's hanging there. Uh, and her parents were there and her father just making talk said, and what's next on your schedule? And I mentioned to him what we were going to do. And he said, oh, I'm a cancer survivor. Of course. I mean, what are the odds, right? And I said to him, uh, he said it was way back. And I said, what, what, what happened when you were diagnosed? Did you get some planning and coordination of your care? He said, are you kidding? <laughs> he said, not only the shock of being diagnosed, but then trying to figure out and he kind of started through those steps. So those are the stories you will evoke. We know this nation has the best cancer treatment in the world, the best cancer care, right? Uh, those of us who've been touched by cancer, however, know where exactly, well, at least most of the gaps are in service. And um, uh, the IOM studies, we have all the evidence uh, that we need to demonstrate that the next steps are not the rocket science. It is the filling in of the gaps. And it is moving through a diagnosis. And that those psychosocial, the, 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 uh, the community networks, the reaching out, um, and, and inviting people to take an active role in their own treatment is a big factor in it. Um, so the coordinated care is what this is all about. Um, the, the job that the providers do is not being questioned at all. That's not the aspect. It's the follow through. It's the other pieces. That's what this PACT Act is all about. Our bill would encourage providers to enhance the communication between patients and their cancer care teams. Uh, this is a written collaborative cancer care plan. There are many physicians, there are many providers who do this already, but not everyone does. And so that is to make it uh, a, a required part of Medicare, knowing that if it is, then the uh, insurance companies will not long after uh, adopt it as well, and it will be the standard of practice. That's the goal, isn't it? To have this be the case uh, that when uh, this diagnosis happens, and hopefully one day it will not be as, as common, and one day there will be no more, but until that time, we need to have uh, the whole person uh, looked at, uh, being part of uh, the, the roadmap. I love your use of that word, Ellen. We look for a roadmap whenever we take a trip, whenever we do something that is comprehensive, and if anything is comprehensive, it surely is the diagnosis of cancer. It takes into account uh, the different treatment options, the many, many cho overwhelming choices today, right? I mean, that's a lot of the the uh, challenge. Um, it's improving in the outcomes. It certainly is improving in satisfaction, reducing unnecessary utilization of scarce health resources. It's economically in our best interest. That's going to have to be a, a really important talking point uh, for many of us in reaching out to colleagues, and you will use that as well. In the long run, this is going to bring the cost of care down by widening the participation rate. These are real impacts on real lives, uh, having outcomes with real families and, and down the road. So it's a good policy to do. It's a sensible thing for taxpayers to be invited to participate in. And very seldom in this city, in this work that we do, do you get a win, 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 win. And my feeling, and I know you share this, is that this is the right time it's the right place, there's enough evidence, and the networking of the organizations has just been phenomenal. So I thank you for being cooperative and collaborative in the ways that you are as well. And we can have discussion, but we can also get busy. 
What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Get, let's get busy, right? Yeah. All right, thank you all, and good luck.